Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. This time we will learn how to solve problems involving equation of a circle. Let us have this first problem. Write the equation of a circle with its center at the origin and a radius of length 9. Let us illustrate the given problem. So according to the problem, the center of the circle is at the origin. What is the coordinates of the center of the circle? It is at point zero, 0, And the radius of length 9. So R is equal to 9. When the center of the circle is at the origin, we will use the center radius form, and that is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. To solve for the equation of the circle, we will replace the variable r with a given r which is equal to 9. So this will be now equal to x squared plus y squared is equal to 9 squared. Simplifying this expression, we will have x squared plus y squared is equal to 81. So this is the equation of the circle with center at the origin and a radius of length 9. Let's proceed to the next problem. Write the equation of a circle with its center at the origin and a radius of length 3 is square root of 6. To illustrate the problem, again, the center of the circle is at the origin. And what is the coordinates of the origin? That is 0, 0. And according to the problem, the radius is 3 square root of 6. So R is equal to 3 square root of 6. Again, when the center of the circle is at the origin, we will use the center radius form, that is x squared, plus y squared is equal to r squared. And we will replace again the variable r with the value of r here, which is 3 square root of 6. So this is equal to x squared plus y squared is equal to the square of 3 square root of 6. Then, x squared plus y squared is equal to the square of 3, that is equal to 9, and the square of the square root of 6, that is 6. Then, what is 9 times 6? So, we will have x squared plus y squared is equal to 54. So this is the equation of the circle with center at its origin and a radius of a length 3 square root of 6. Let's proceed to the next problem. Write the equation of a circle with its center at point negative 4, 4 and a radius of length 5. So according to the problem, the center of the circle is at point negative 4, 4. And the radius, which is 5 units. So, in a given problem, the center is at point negative 4, 4. And our value of R is equal to 5. When the center of the circle is not at the origin, we will not use the first formula that I have mentioned. But we will use the other formula, which is the square of the quantity x minus h plus the square of the quantity y minus k is equal to r squared. This is the standard form of the equation of a circle. Now take note that the center is at point hk. So our value of h is negative 4 and k is equal to 4. We will replace these values to our given formula. Okay, here. So, this would be now equal to the square of the quantity x minus the value of h, which is negative 4, plus the square of the quantity y minus the value of k, which is positive 4, is equal to the value of r, which is 5. So, this is 5 squared. 
simplifying the expression or the equations, we will arrive at x plus 4 quantity squared plus y minus 4 quantity squared is equal to 5 squared, which is 25. So, this is the equation of the circle with its center at point negative 4, 4 and a radius of length 5. Next problem, write the equation of a circle with its center at point 2, negative 5 and a radius 3. So, according to the problem, the center is at point 2, negative 5. And the radius, which is equal to 3. So, our given R center, which is 2, negative 5. And we will have R for the radius equal to 3. We will use the standard form of the equation of a circle. And that is the square of the quantity X minus H. Plus the square of the quantity Y minus K. And that is equal to R squared. Remember that the center is at point HK. So, in our given, the value of H is 2 and K is negative 5. So, we will replace those values here. And that will be equal to the square of the quantity X minus the value of H, which is 2, plus the square of the quantity Y minus the value of K, which is negative 5 is equal to the value of R squared. Simplifying our equations here, we will arrive at the square of the quantity X minus 2 plus the square of the quantity Y plus 5 is equal to 3 squared, that is equal to 9. So this is the equation of the circle with its center at point 2, negative 5, and a radius 3. Next problem, find equation of a circle in which the center is at point 2, 1, and a point 2, 6 lies on the circle. So according to the problem, the center is at point 2, 1, and a point 2, 6 lies on the circle. So, to find the equation of the circle, we must find first the radius of the circle. And that is we're going to find the distance between 0.21 to 0.26 or 0.26 to 0.21. So, if we're going to count the number of units in the number line, this is 5 units. Or if we're going to find the positive difference of the y coordinates, 6 minus 1, so we have here 5. So... The center is at point 2, 1, and the radius, which is equal to 5. To find the equation of the circle, we will use the standard form of the equation of the circle, which is the square of the quantity x minus h, plus the square of the quantity y minus k is equal to r squared. So we will replace the value of h and k, from our given values based on the problem. So we have here x minus the value of h which is 2 plus the value of k which is 1 and the value of r which is 5. Then let us simplify the equation. This is equivalent to the square of the quantity x minus 2 plus the square of the quantity x minus 1 is equal to 25. So this is the equation of the circle wherein the center of the circle is at point to 1 and a certain point which is point to 6 lies on the circle. Another problem, find the equation of a circle in which segment negative 5, 6 and a point 7, negative 2 is a diameter. So we have here the point negative 5, 6 and a point 7, negative 2, okay, which is the diameter of the circle. Okay, 
So to find the equation of this circle, we must find first the midpoint of this segment so that we can be able to find the center of the circle. How? We will use the midpoint formula. And the midpoint formula is, so this is the coordinates of the midpoint, and that is equal to the sum of x sub 1 and x sub 2 all over 2, and the sum of y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. So if we represent negative 5, 6 as our x sub 1, y sub 1, or the first point, and 7, negative 2 as our second point, so we will have x sub 2, y sub 2. Replacing the values for x sub 1 and x sub 2, this is equal to negative 5 plus 7 all over 2. And then for y sub 1 and y sub 2, that is 6 plus negative 2 all over 2. Simplifying these expressions, we will have negative 5 plus 7 is 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 plus negative 2 is 4 divided by 2, so that's 2. So the midpoint of the segment is at point 1, 2. So we have here the point 1, 2, which is the midpoint of the segment, at the same time the center of the circle. So you have already the center of the circle, which is at point 1, 2. The next is we will look for the value of R or the radius. So we will choose any of the given two points so that we can find the value of R. Okay, so we're going to find the distance between point 1, 2 and point 7, 2 or point 1, 2 and point negative 5, 6. Okay, so let us use the point 7, negative 2, okay, as the points on the circle. So to find R, we will use the distance formula. And the distance formula is defined by the equation, the square root of, the square of the quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 plus the square of the quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So if we represent this as our first point and here the second point, our x sub 2 is 7. So our x sub 2 is 7 minus the value of x sub 1 which is 1 and then squaring this plus y sub 2 is negative 2 minus the x y sub 1 which is 2 squaring this expression okay next let's simplify 7 minus 1 is 6 squaring 6 that's 36 plus negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4 squaring negative 4 so that's 16 36 plus 16 is 52. And square root of 52 is equal to 2 square root of 13. So this is our distance from point 1, 2 to 7, negative 2, or at the same time, the length of the radius r. So we have now the length r is equal to 2 square root of 13. This is our step 3, so the center of the circle which is at point 1, 2 and the radius of the circle which is 2 square root of 13 from our step number 2. So from this given, we can now create or find the equation of the circle by using the standard form of the equation of the circle which is the square of the quantity x minus h plus the square of the quantity y minus k is equal to r squared. So we have here again point h, k, and r. So we will replace those values from our formula x minus the value of h which is 1. So that will be the square of the quantity x minus 1 plus 
the value of k which is 2 so this will be now the square of the quantity y minus 2 is equal to uh, value of r squared and that is 2 square root of 13 squared simplifying this expression we will arrive at x minus 1 Okay, the square of the quantity x minus 1 plus the square of the quantity y minus 2 and then the square of 2 which is 4 and the square of the square root of 13 so that's 13 again we will simplify this so this is x minus 1 okay the square of x minus 1 plus the square of y minus 2 is equal to 4 times 13 so that is equal to 52 so this is the equation of the circle in which segment negative 5 6 and a point 7 negative 2 is the diameter of the circle